And as far as um, what percentage is this microbe in the Western world? I mean, it's kind of absent, right? In a great majority of the population. Yes. So Dr. Gerhard Reuter, he's the German microbiologist who first, first isolated it in 1962 from the breast milk of a German breastfeeding mother. He said back then, it's easy to find. It's, every, it's ubiquitous. It's in breast milk. It's in stool. It's easy to find. With his 40-year academic career, he made a number of comments that he's finding it increasingly difficult to find, such that by the 2000s, he could barely find it at all. And that's been corroborated several times by others. We have a clinical study I'm proposing where we do several hundred people and see how many will corroborate that and also correlate such to other biomarkers because it's so crucial for overall health and youthfulness. But it's, it's presumptively because Lactobacillus rotari, as well as other Lactobacillus species, there's many of them, of course, are uniquely susceptible to common antibiotics. All it takes is a round of penicillin or ampicillin or amoxicillin that you may have taken years and years ago, and you've wiped out all the rotary and thereby lost all its huge advantages.